One of the many things the four of us love about being doctors is being able to answer your questions and bring you the latest medical advances that can help you and your family. Our first question today for Jim is a home video from Christina in San Gabriel, California. Hi doctors, my twin three-year-old sons suffer from asthma. I'm worried while they're out playing around, they're not getting enough oxygen. Is there any way that I can make sure they're breathing all right? Well, Christina, that's a pretty good question. A lot of parents uh, whose children have asthma, you know, when they get that asthma attack, you start to wonder, you know, their breathing looks a little labored. Are they getting enough oxygen? When is the time to head to the ER? You know, what am I going to do? And there's a few signs to look for, but this is a pretty cool device. Uh, um, it's actually, we have, this is a pulse oximeter by Devon Medical, but um, we have big ones of these in our office, you know, a big kind of thing that's on a stand. And, but this is a little portable one. You basically just slip it on your finger and it will tell you in just a few seconds how well saturated you are. I'm 99%, which is perfect. And, you know, above 90% is pretty good. You'll see somebody with an, uh, in a, during an asthma attack uh, down in, you know, down in the 80s, 70s, and, and that really means they, 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 you know, it can wow. be pretty well, bad. But they need you, extra oxygen. You, if your child is struggling yeah, to breathe, sure. you need to go see a mm -hmm. physician. Right. These can be very late in showing respiratory oh, sure. distress. There are other things we look at as doctors. This is a neat tool. Yeah. Other signs that we look for if you don't have one of these at home, respiratory rate is a big one. You yes. know, normally, we're, we're up here, we're breathing about 20 breaths a minute. Uh, a lot of younger kids will maybe breathe 30 breaths a minute, but if you're getting up to four, over 40, you're that means you're starting to have a problem. Over 60 breaths a minute, that's basically one breath a second. You need to get to the ER, the doctor's office pretty quickly because you probably need extra oxygen. Uh, your color, you know, if somebody's looking not as pink as they usually, looking pale, even blue, that, that's a pretty bad sign too. Um, a younger kid, often you'll see um, with their breathing, their, their chest is working a lot harder. Uh, you can see in their ribs, the, the called they're retraction. They're using accessory muscles. Accessory yeah. muscles. If, if it looks, basically, if they look like they just ran up a flight of stairs, but they, they haven't. The problem is it'll be there before you yeah. see the blue color. So right. the minute your child starts to use these accessory muscles, you've got to take them in because right. they can have life-saving treatments. I, I love the pulse oximeter just cool. because it gives us a, a flash reading of someone's oxygen levels. Yep. And, you know, and Jim, you're 99%. It's very scary as a parent. I mean, so it's good to have something sometimes, yeah, you know? you know, and this is very portable, and you can just throw it on if you're not sure, and it uh, can help you decide if you I need think to go. it's better just look at your kid. Yes. Do yep. they have, are they, are they working too hard to breathe? Yeah, Christina, you probably know that, you know, as a parent with a child with asthma, you you learned to see the signs. You know when they're okay and when they're not. Thank you so much, Christina. Good luck with the twins. Next, we have an email from Janice in Beaver Creek, Minnesota.